Yeah. So I played um, the demo. I played the demo and uh, I, I enjoyed it. But the thing is that no matter what, there's always going to be that that taste in the back of your mouth that you know it's woke. It's like, oh, this game is good, but it sucks that it's woke. But the thing is, people aren't going to give it a chance knowing that it's woke. Like, yeah, especially people that's who are like very gotten. well. Yeah. Especially when people are very, very well versed into like the, you know, pop culture and the culture war and stuff like that, like video games and movies. When they hear that this game is woke, they're not even going to, ch- they're not even going to touch it. They're not even going to give it a chance. Let's say Tales mm-hmm. of Kanzara has a very, very good gameplay, very good ca- gameplay loop, cool design, ga- good, you know, platforming and features and stuff like that. But knowing that the game is woke, people aren't even going to touch it. So yeah. I, 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 that's a shitty thing, right? It's like, that's the reason why get woke, go broke. Is because when your game is like, oh, your game has to do with Sweet Baby Inc., I'm not, I'm not playing it. I'm not, I'm not even going to give it a chance, right? I, I, I played God of War Ragnarok without knowing it was part of Sweet Baby Inc. So, right, but now we do know. Now, we, now, like, immediately, is it, is it, is it woke? Oh, this movie came out. Is it woke? Penguin is out. It's doing really, really good. Is it woke? It's like, that's the first thing that I, people will ask now. 